local state senator talking to 41 Action News about an intern's sexual harassment accusations. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Maroos. And I'm Rian and Ali. The Senate report just released this afternoon says Senator Paul Lavota made inappropriate comments in text messages to an intern. 41 Action News reporter Amy Holly talked with the longtime lawmaker. She is live in Independence. And Amy, the senator claims he did nothing wrong. Does. Senator Paul Lavota of Independence, we're standing in front of his office here where we interviewed him just a few hours ago, and he dies all allegations. And like you said, Rhiannon, he says he did nothing wrong. All the allegations of his former intern. Also, he says she had nothing that she could prove as evidence, had no proof at all what she was saying, but he does know that these allegations will still be very damning. In this Senate administrative report, investigators spell out the details of a former female intern from the University of Central Missouri State. In the report, she told Missouri Senate investigators, Democratic Senator Paul Lavota of Independence sexually harassed her earlier this legislative session. She says he texted her unwelcome messages like, you're perfect and beautiful, and quote, we are secret friends. She also told investigators he invited her to his Jefferson City apartment, and she says they both both had been drinking. She says he solicited sex twice. Quote, if you want to sleep with me tonight, I won't tell you no. And she says she told him no. The intern says after she denied Senator Lavota's advances, he retaliated against her and no longer received assignments at the state capitol. A fellow UCM intern told a school professor the woman seemed, quote, sad and frustrated. Lavota told investigators, as he did to me today, she's not telling the truth and was unable to provide any proof, including text messages. You know, I have to respond to false allegations. And, um, you know, it's on the news. It says all these things. Um, hopefully, it will be pretty clear that um, in that report, there is no proof of wrongdoing. It clearly states that I have denied at from the very beginning, um, and it's just not true. Now, the investigation comes after former Missouri House uh, Speaker John Deal um, admitted to having an affair with an intern also in his office. That was back in May. He resigned after that sexting scandal. And now a committee, after lawmakers have uh, created a committee, a committee is now looking into the state capitol's intern program also today. They released all these details without any conclusion or any recommendation whatsoever. However, the administrative committee is saying that the full Senate is the only group that can actually decide in the end what to do with its own members. In Independence, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.